There is no way I can do this, right? What was I even thinking? Living together with someone I do not even know. That is something for people who know how to deal with strangers, or rather with humans in general. <sighs> Be honest with yourself, when was the last time you felt like someone was actually close to you? Because through the entirety of high school, it was always just me, myself, and I. <sighs> I should just give up and call him to say that I can't join in on the apartment agreement. I am let down yet again, but... To sign the lease together, it's a commitment with a damn stranger. <sighs> like I can do that now? It's too late. I already packed in the first place and the deposit's already been paid. <sighs> I worry again too much. I'm sure it'll be fine. No, it will be fine. I mean, the rent is amazing. I never would have guessed that I could live this central and still afford it somehow. I will finally live in a room that I have all to myself. Sorry sis, I love you but you are super loud when you are idling on your phone. I need peace to be able to focus on college and I can finally find it now that I live on my own. Well, I call it living on my own, it's a bit much but I mean it's kinda true. And even if it's not really alone, he seemed nice on the phone, very polite and also very cheerful. Hmm, and helpful as well. He had no problem at all sending me those extra photos. I guess he also isn't that bad at doing chores, since I saw not a speck of dust on any of those photos. Heck, even the bath looked like you could eat out of it. Not like I would though, but... It was pretty impressive. Hmm. Let's hope it actually was him doing all those chores and not his last roommate and I've just stepped into their boots. Ugh, no. Stop it with these negative thoughts. You need to be in there and... <gasps> Wait, it's how late? Oh my god, I need to be there in 15 minutes. Forget breakfast. I gotta rush over as fast as possible. Hello. Yes, that is me. I I do come from a bit further away, yes. Hmm? How did you know that? I'm sorry, but I don't think I recognize you. Uh, excuse me, but is this really the right place? Wait, how would you know about that? That happened in elementary school. That as well. Were you one of my classmates back then, by any chance? You were, then. Well, did we play a lot? I, I can't... Or, well, I don't really recognize you. Hmm. But that only happened when I was in kindergarten, and there's only one person on this planet that went to the same elementary and kindergarten as me. No way. It's you? Oh my god, I miss you so much. I felt so bad about moving away. Oh my god, it really is you. I didn't recognize you. You've grown up so much. Oh, um, sorry. I didn't mean to just grab you there. <laughs> I just got a bit excited. But... What are the odds, right? To meet you again as my new roommate, nonetheless. Oh my god, I'm so happy right now and relieved and just... Ugh. You look, well, a bit unwell. Is everything alright? I know I probably hurt you a lot back then and trust me, if I could have changed it, I would. Huh? What do you mean? How could that have been your fault, dummy? We were kids. You were my best friend. No way you were not good enough for me. Why would you even think something like this? Are you out of your mind? 
You are wonderful, I promise, and I assure you, the best friend I could have possibly ever wished for. But can we talk more inside? <sighs> Talking in the doorway is not only impolite, but also a bit nerve-wracking to think someone might be, uh, listening into our conversation. <sighs> Thank you. Hmm. Wow, it really does look clean in here. Did you do it all by yourself? Your mom helped out. <laughs> Cute. N nothing. Um, oh, no, it's not necessary. We can look into my room later. I think there's something much more important right now, okay? Now, come here, mister. Let's sit on the couch for a moment and talk. I feel like we need to do so. So, why would you ever think it is your fault that we weren't friends after, um, well, you know. You were my best friend. I never once thought of you as not good enough. I thought you were awesome. Hell, I wanted to be you. <laughs> yes, I promise. Why did I vanish overnight without saying anything? Uh, well, you see... My family, we're not that wealthy. I never really hid that from you. My dad, who already worked so much, finally got a job offer from his company, but the job was basically on the other side of the country. He came home that day and asked mom, my sis, and me if we would be okay with that. And even though we were all so attached to our hometown, we also all knew how important this job was, not only for my dad, but for me and my sis, since we both knew we were going to go to college at some point. You know what the worst part was? We had to decide on that day. A little kid told to make a decision that would change the trajectory of their life between getting home from school and bedtime. <laughs> Six hours. Yep. Dad only got the job offer because someone else jumped off the project at the last second. The office that he'd be working at, the one on the other side of the country, it was already prepared and the work was supposed to start the very next day. My dad was too scared to ask if they could maybe push the deadlines a little, just for a day or two. It was so we, as a family, could think about it a bit more. <sighs> but... Odds are, the opportunity would have slipped through his hands if he did that, though. It left us no choice, really. Mm. Though, I always say us, as if I really had much of a say back then. I was still so young. My sister, even younger. I'm sure my parents did what they thought was best for both of us. And, I mean, I guess it worked out. I start college in a few weeks, and my sister is planning on going to college as well. Hmm, I promise you, I'm telling the truth, so please, stop blaming yourself. No, you could not have changed anything. You were a child. We were both just children. You were as powerless as I was. So, stop with all this talk, okay? The beating yourself up about it? <laughs> Instead of feeling down about it, how about you feel good that we're finally able to see each other again, huh? Because <laughs> on my end, this is like a miracle happening. This stuff only happens in the animes or the films. <laughs> I wish it would have been as easy to stay in contact like it is today. Because mm, not a day passed without me thinking about you or what happened to you. Um... So, uh, you cannot believe how much there is I have to tell you. The city I moved to was gigantic, not even comparable to our hometown. Mom got a job once Kate was a bit older. Ooh, and all of us are doing fine. Thriving, honestly. Dad is still working all the time, but now he works with a big smile on his face, which is great to see. Kate has just entered high school and already planning out her college, but she is, well, much more mature than I was when I graduated. <laughs> and mom got really into baking over the last few years. Mm hmm? 
Yeah, she's really good at it. Honestly, there is a cake in our house for every other day, even on the days where she is exhausted from work. She still somehow finds the energy to bake us a little treat. You should come over at some point, when I go back and visit them. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm sure my parents would love to see you again, and I'm even more sure that you will love my mom's baking. <laughs> But be warned, since she picked up her hobby, I have seen a bit of weight gain on myself. <laughs> you, you think I look good? Really? Thank you, but there is no need to lie. I know it best myself that there are some things that... Mm, you're serious? Mm, I see. Every guy would what? Happy to have me as his girl. <laughs> Shut up, Mr. Goody looks over there. Hmm? Of course you look good. Back then you were cute, but today, I mean, look at you. <laughs> You've gotten so handsome over the years. Hmm? Huh? I'm not teasing you. I'm serious. You can't tell by the tone of my voice. I know I'm flustered, but I hope I don't sound fake at least. You... Look amazing from top to bottom. <laughs> oh shit, sorry. I haven't even noticed that my hand was wandering onto your thigh. It's alright? Really? It must be weird for you, right? We will live together now, so please feel free to let me know if anything I do makes you uncomfortable, okay? It's the opposite. I comfort you already. So you want me to keep my hand on your thigh? All right. Then let me touch you all over while we keep indulging ourselves in our ketchup. No? Hmm. So... How was school for Mr. Hotshot here, hmm? I'm sure you had a great time. You were pretty popular back then. I remember me standing on the sides, watching you get along with everyone. You made me a bit jealous, you know? Not jealous of you, silly. Jealous of all the other girls getting along with you. I know, I know, it's super childish, but, I mean, can you blame me? I was so small, but now I've grown into a proper woman, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. And you became such a strong and kind-hearted man. <laughs> but Mr. Strong Man... Will Miss Strong Girlfriend not be angry with you if you go and flirt around with your childhood friend? There is none? Really? Looking at you, I can't believe that at all. Hmm? What do you mean by that? I look like I'd have a boyfriend. <laughs> um... Well... I assure you, if I had a boyfriend... I wouldn't run my hand all over you like this. From your thigh, up to your chest, caressing your neck with my nails, running them through your hair, all the way until they reach your lips. They, um, they're soft. Oh god, I'm so sorry. I got a little bit too much into it. I think it was just... <laughs> I missed you so much. I thought I'd never see you again. But here you are. I will not let you go. Never, ever again. You hear me? 
You are mine now. <laughs> and I am yours, right? Oh, that's what I thought. Now, can you finally fall down? I've been trying to push you over for a good minute now already. <laughs> Why? Isn't that obvious? I want to cuddle. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, just like this. Hmm. This is perfect. This is all I ever wanted. And I can't believe you were just one call for a dang apartment away. <laughs> no one's gonna believe this story, you know. It's too good to be true. Weren't you practically strangers? Oh, uh, I don't feel that way at all. Even though we haven't seen each other in forever, I feel like you never left my heart. <laughs> You feel the same way? I will never, ever step away from your sight again. Together forever at last. I don't feel alone. And I never will again when I have you. <laughs>